Welcome back to another episode of the Hermit Poetry Series. I'm Neil Aiken, and on this channel I read poetry, mostly work by contemporary poets, occasionally poems of my own, and once in a while poems from the past. Today's poem comes to us from Charles Wright from his collection, A Short History of the Shadow, published by Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux in 2002. Uh, this poem is entitled Night Music and appears midway through the collection. I think of the nightfall all the time. I think of the dark pine trees leaning out of the sky, backlit by diminishing twilight, then not backlit. I think of the way the tree frogs pitch and pull in their summer dance. I think of how the wind comes in from thousands of miles away. I think of how the darkness abides. The world's a slick rock we've got to cross. The air, as Cavalcante says, tremulous with light and everywhere nicked with voices and little outcries. Whose are they? And who are they? Their wings horizon edge, their bodies as soft as clouds, their skins tattooed and laid bare and graffitied with desolation. Dreams of them enter like things alive, the rooms where our loves lie sleeping. Listen to what the book says. Woe to you because of the fire that burns in you, for it is insatiable. Woe to you because of the wheel that turns in your mind. This is the way the night comes on, a narrow and shapeless place, a few rehearsals among the insects, a few stars, the thing invisible brought to naught and back among visible things. This is the way all it all ends. Um, and that was Night Music um, by Charles Wright from A Short History of the Shadow, Farrar, Strauss, and Giroux, 2002. Um, if you enjoyed this reading and this poem, please do check out the description of the video for more information about the poet Charles Wright, as well as where to purchase a copy of the book for yourself. Um, there's also information about this series and about other projects that I'm currently working on. And so feel free to read. Feel free to comment below if you would like to recommend your own poems or poets that you, you think that uh, might be well, let's see. If there are books out there that you think I should focus on or particular poems um, that have been published that you think should be highlighted, feel free to let me know, uh, either in the comments or directly email me, um, should you wish. And um, feel free to let me know how you enjoy this series. Uh, one of the best ways you can support the series is by subscribing to the channel. Uh, just hit the bell icon if you do, and you'll be notified every time there's a new video. Um, those of you familiar with this channel know that every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday I have new content, and um, I'm always open for suggestions. Um, trying to play around a little bit with format, we'll, we'll see in the next little while where that takes us. Um, but for now, I'm still reading poems and still looking for ways to celebrate books, um, both new and older. Um, and I think that's about it for this time. So thank you all for supporting this channel and uh, for sharing these videos on social media. And uh, until next time we meet, I wish you all the very best. Keep reading, keep writing, keep staying engaged with the world, keep creating, and uh, I will do the same. Um, and so until we meet again, um, all the best to you and to your creative pursuits. And uh, we will be back again shortly with more poetry and more reading. Uh, until then, take care and goodbye.